interesting all out attack on the BJP on reality check from Pawan Varma who's in the JDU saying that the language used by the Prime Minister was shocking that the election commission and other institutions were being subverted and that Rahul Gandhi was coming into his own. First of all as I said the BJP in its campaigning hit a new low which is very unfortunate given the fact that it was well placed in Gujarat. Secondly I think we are seeing in a set, in a way a change of image of the Congress party, the Congress party under Mr. Rahul Gandhi, I think I, the way I saw it, won far more support than the manner in which he was disdainfully dismissed by the BJP in the past. And he showed humility, he showed decorum, he showed the ability for course correction and to take decisive action when people like Mr. Manishankar used language which was inappropriate. So that's the second takeaway and the third takeaway which worries me a lot Vikram and which should be discussed is the corrosion of institutions like the election commission which we would all like to respect have respected in the past but the impartiality has to be seen and we have no answers yet to this, the manner in which it has behaved in this election. Why were the dates for Gujarat postponed by a week? Okay. Okay. Uh, Why was a road show on today that was held? There was nothing short of a road show that happens, the and the election commission doesn't take suo to cognizance of it. Pavan Varma, who's an ally of yours, <laughs> has just made three really important marks that BJP's campaign hit a new low. Institutions have been subverted, and notably the election commission, which is the first time that that's happened. I mean, I don't have to paraphrase. You heard him. How would you respond to those charges? And especially the subversion of the election commission is a is a is a is a, is a is a, is a scary accusation because the election commission is, a, is an institution we've all come to respect a lot in the last couple of decades. For a would-be or very shortly to be congressman like Mr. <laughs> Pavan Varma, he has echoed the views that have been... Uh, Pavan, I'm going to give you a chance to respond to that. He's saying a would-be congressman like Pavan Varma. He did not no, I'm allowing you to respond the problem, to that. The problem, Vikram, is... Uh, yeah, I, I want to respond very quickly to say yes. that the problem with the BJP leadership, not necessarily with the BJP is, and Chandan is a friend, is that they have got unused to hearing voices which are introspective, critical, or in dissent. And I can say to you, I know the top BJP leadership was as shocked by the Prime Minister's allegation that a former Prime Minister and a former Vice President and a former Chief of Armed Staff are actually conspiring with Pakistan to sabotage uh, the BJP's chances of an election in a state like Gujarat. How can you make a statement like that from a public forum? Okay. I, I would say that Mr. Chandan Mitra, instead of getting into a reflex defense mode, should be introspective enough to know that winnability is not the only criteria for elections. You cannot finesse credibility and ethics in politics.